After last minute changes to appease some holdouts, the tax bill passed by the narrowest of margins. The yeas are 51 and the nays are 49. All Republicans, with one exception, voted for the bill, which their leader hailed as a tonic for the U.S. economy. We have an opportunity now to make America more competitive and to keep jobs from being shipped offshore and uh, provide substantial relief uh, to the middle class. But Democrats called it a bonanza for multinational corporations and the ultra-rich, while adding more than a trillion dollars to the U.S. debt. There is a trail of broken promises broken promises to working families in the mad dash to pass this bill. And the American people understand this is the is first expired. step of continuing attacks on Medicare, on Medicaid, and Social Security. Most economists have been skeptical that the tax cuts will generate enough growth to make up for the loss in government revenue, as the Republicans have promised. Public opinion polls show that voters largely oppose the bill, based on doubt it will amount to a net gain for most households. But its passage would be the biggest Republican legislative achievement since Donald Trump became president. We got no Democrat help, and I think that's going to cost them very big in the election because basically they voted against tax cuts. And I don't think politically it's good to vote against tax cuts. The Senate and House, which already passed its own versions of tax cuts, must still agree on bridging the differences. But Trump said he looked forward to signing a final bill before Christmas. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.